Welcome, crypto fam, to the number one daily Bitcoin pod. In today's show, I'll be sharing the latest technical analysis as well as breaking news. MicroStrategy overtakes Microsoft and all time stock gains as Bitcoin bet pays off. Also, breaking news Microsoft to vote for or against the assessment of investing in Bitcoin during their shareholder meeting in December, according to the latest. SEC filing. Now, I did my research, and it looks like the largest shareholders of Microsoft are none other than Vanguard and BlackRock. Fidelity is even up there. So, highly probability here, family. This is a pretty big deal considering how much money they have. We'll also be discussing Polymarket claims to have identified a mega Trump whale. We'll also be discussing from $1 to $67,600 per Bitcoin. Max Kaiser boasts his 6,800% ROI. We'll also be discussing Bitcoin analyst predicts 100,000 Bitcoin by February, completely within reason, as well as Standard Chartered Bank sees Bitcoin surge to 125,000 if Republicans take the U.S. Congress. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. All this, plus so much more, in today's show. Welcome, everybody. If you're new to the channel, very important to smash the likes. Then go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell icon to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every day, just like this. Today is pod episode 1700. In 98, I'm your host, JV. It's October 25th, 2024. Bitcoin sitting just above 67.4 at the time of the live. Let's kick it off with our market watch as we do every day. You can see Coin360 on your screen. Bitcoin, ETH, all the major alts correcting and in the red. This morning, we were in the green heading fast track to 69 and something happened. Had a little bit of a correction is what it is. Welcome to crypto fam. And checking out coinmarketcap.com. Uh, we're currently sitting at a 2.31 trillion market cap total with the Bitcoin market cap at $1.33 trillion with an over trillion dollar lead over on Ethereum. We have 75 billion worth of volume past 24 hours. Bitcoin dominance on a tear all the way to 57.9%. Ether dominance pretty laughable. 13.1%. It's been on a steady decline for quite some time, and this is the lowest we have seen it in a very long time. And checking out top 100 crypto gainers past 24 hours. We got Safe up 17%. We got Ape up 3%. And chain link up roughly 3%. Let me know which alt, if any, you're bullish on for this particular bull of 2024, 2025. And checking out the crypto bubbles, we get a visual perspective on the day. Survey says majority of the market, unfortunately, in the red, roughly 85 red over green percent that is and zooming out on the monthly pretty mixed bag i'd say 50 50 in that ballpark and checking out the crypto greed and fear index let's see if it loads earlier it was down looks to be down for whatever reason so no worries we'll check out the time chain calendar uh we're currently uh on block 867,318 we have 182,682 blocks to go into the next halving and you could today exchange one US dollar for 1,464 Satoshis. So stack them stats accordingly. But yeah, let's dive into today's technical analysis. Um, we're just going to go right to the charts today and see what's really happening. So give me a second to pull her up. You should be able to see here on your screen. Uh, this is looking at the Coinbase one hour chart via trading view, a lot of action going on. We got target targets galore. Uh, we have a rising wedge formation very clearly. We do have a blue target, bull target sitting all the way at 70,800. Uh, Again, there's the one hour chart and we do have some bear targets ranging from 66 all the way down to 65. And zooming out from the one hour, we'll take a glance at the four hour. Survey says, Blue bull target sitting all the way at 81.3. And we have a green bear target sitting all the way down at 50,200. Things are looking bullish. There's also a rising wedge in the four-hour chart. Uh, zooming out on the one day. 
And as you can see, a lot of action here, rising wedge so far on the one hour, the four hour, and the daily. A big green candle for yesterday, a little corrective red thus far today. We do have a bear target sitting on the daily chart at 50,200 and a super bear at 47.7. And zooming out from the daily, we'll take a quick look at the weekly. And the weekly chart suggests a very bullish formation. Cup and handle still in play at 164,000. I personally feel this is a very doable target here in Q4 sometime between now and December before the end of the year. Let me know if you agree or disagree that we can hit 124 as per what the weekly chart suggests. And zooming out from there, we'll check out the monthly. And the monthly chart shows us we've had seven months of sideways trading action after roughly seven months of bullish trading action. And we'll see what the month of October has in store for the final week of the month. We got until the 31st, which is the anniversary of the Bitcoin white paper. I think it's year 16. Correct me if I'm wrong. And happy birthday, Bitcoin. And zooming out. We'll also check out the six month because we rarely ever look at the six month and we'll look at the one year. Six month chart says bullish. And we'll take a quick look at the annual six month, or I mean 12 month chart. Even more bullish show. We've had two big years of green candles. Let's keep that momentum flowing shall we? But there you go, yo. There's the latest TA as far as the live charts are concerned as we're inching right back towards 68 Gs. But let's get right into our next story of the day. We still got a lot in the headlines. Uh, we did our TA. Next, let's discuss this uh, micro strategy overtaking Microsoft and all time stock gains. This Bitcoin bet pays off. Micro strategy on a tear. Uh, the bet on Bitcoin paying off handsomely as its stock soared more than 7% just today, marking a new 25 year high at $236. And I think the other day it was up like 15%. It's just on a massive climb. This was a continuation of a six week rally of the world's largest corporate Bitcoin. Bitcoin hodler, the first to adopt Bitcoin as a strategic reserve asset, put it on the balance sheet, which has seen its share surpass Microsoft as the tech giant is set to vote on a proposal to publicly access adding Bitcoin to his balance sheet. Now, something interesting. Primary shareholder of MicroStrategy is BlackRock. One of the primary shareholders of Microsoft, and I know because I just looked it up. Here's some proof of work for you. Vanguard is the number one shareholder at 9%. BlackRock is the second sh largest shareholder of micro Microsoft with 7%. And you even got Fidelity that owns 2.9%. Now, clearly, BlackRock is bullish on Bitcoin, as is Fidelity. So we're going to be discussing in a little bit them adopting uh, Bitcoin as a trillion dollar move. I mean, that's other breaking news going on right now. But nonetheless, I digress. I just wanted to point out that BlackRock owns virtually everything. So I wouldn't be surprised if they, if MicroStrategy actually did adopt Bitcoin. And you may think, well, Bill Gates, enemy of mankind. Well, Bill Gates owns less than 1% of the micro uh, soft stock. So keep that in mind as well. A massive shout out to Jason Buck. I just want to give credit where credit is due. He just gifted 10 memberships of the micro strategy membership of the channel. So congrats, Reina, Israel, DD, Mark. Uh, we have Marcus Roth, Zondoff, Candice Estevez, Great U.S. Treasure Hunt, Mexico Hoddle. And if I miss anyone, I apologize, but congratulations and welcome all the new micro strategy members of the channel. Clearly, MicroStrategy is crushing it. Also on memberships here on the channel. Nothing to do with my <laughs> MicroStrategy itself, the stock, but nonetheless, I digress. Thank you, Jason Buck. That's very kind of you, broski. But yeah, checking this out. MicroStrategy is soaring to a new all-time high, as observed, crushing every company without Bitcoin on their balance sheet. So it's virtually an ultimatum to all the major companies out there. Either adopt Bitcoin, put it on your balance sheet, or get left behind. And MicroStrategy is a great example of that. Over the past five years, MicroStrategy stock has outperformed every company in the S&P, fueling market expectations for continued bullish momentum thanks to its Bitcoin holdings. The latest rally has seen the all-time performance of the software company's stock overtake that of Microsoft. As shown in this chart, you're looking at the MicroStrategy versus Microsoft. MicroStrategy 
outperformed Microsoft since 1999. Its share rally approximately rallying 1,570% since the NASDAQ listed compared to Microsoft at 1,400% ascent in their respective U.S. dollar pairs. MicroStrategy gains in recent years can be attributed to its Bitcoin buying strategy, which has earned the tag of the largest corporate Bitcoin hodler in the world. Now, Mikey Saylor led company began buying the biddy back in 2020. Let me know if you front ran Michael Saylor, because if so, he's pumping your bags and you owe him a thank you. And just pointing out the obvious. Now go home and get your shine box, Mikey Saylor. In his latest purchase, the company acquired approximately 7,400 Bitcoin for roughly 458 million in cash between September 13th and the 19th, bringing its holdings 252,220 Bitcoin worth nearly $17 billion at today's prices. This represents over 1% of the Bitcoin that will ever be mined. Mind-boggling. They already own over 1% of the supply. Now, MicroStrategy soaring stock is driving up its market value, reflecting heightened investor enthusiasm. That's right. The latest rally has seen the stock market cap reach $43 billion, making MicroStrategy the 477th most valuable company in the world by market value as per company's market cap data. However, it's still not in the S&P 500. Mind-blowing, right? This is only 8% away from the $50 billion market cap valuation. Meanwhile, uh, MicroStrategy trading volume has continued to climb against NVIDIA in 2024, reaching a high of 17.5% of NVIDIA's volume of October. This was achieved October 11th when MicroStrategy saw 30 million trading volume against NVIDIA's 170 million, according to data from investing.com. Similarly, MicroStrategy net asset value has continued to expand once again as Bitcoin price hovered around 68 Gs, putting the net asset value premium at almost three, the highest level since early 2021. An increasing market value and trading volume alongside a price rally could be indicators of a continued uptrend for MicroStrategy stock over the coming months and years. How many of you are bullish on MicroStrategy? There is no second press. Let me know, family. And in other uh, headlines, as I shared, breaking news, Microsoft to vote for or against the assessment of investing in Bitcoin during the shareholder meeting in December, according to the SEC, filing. Now, this is a big deal because Saylor says Microsoft can make the next trillion dollars by investing treasury into Bitcoin. And here's the MicroStrategy head dude right here, the HNIC, as they say in the streets. But nonetheless, I had to do a little research and just see who is the primary shareholder of Microsoft. And lo and behold, the same people that own everything else, Vanguard and BlackRock. There's also State Street, Fidelity, and Geode Capital Management. So yeah, it's like we already know Larry Fink and BlackRock are bullish on Bitcoin. They're obviously a primary shareholder of Microsoft, of MicroStrategy. They're uh, you know the largest asset manager in the world. And I think they're just going to accumulate Bitcoin. So this is a sign of the times. You adopt Bitcoin or you get left behind. Yeah, I mean, and another breaking news in the city of Lugano, Switzerland, there's the brand new statue honoring the one and only Satoshi Nakamoto, creator of the Bitcoin. And it's a pretty lit statue right there. So I'd love to go visit that and take some photos. Pretty lit. Shout out Satoshi. Long live the great. But let's continue with uh, some of the headlines here. Um, here's the latest with Poly Market. Uh, Trump, very impressive lead, uh, as our own Oracle shared earlier. I think it's up to over 65%, which is the biggest betting uh, market maker that there is. And this just goes to show you that Obviously, the whales are in favor of Trump and just the people in general, especially the crypto folk looking for a Trump victory. Spokespeople for Polymarket claimed they identified the whale responsible for 28 million in pro-Trump trading positions as one unnamed French citizen was a seasoned background in finance and trading. According to the piece of the New York Times, company representatives told the outlet that four separate accounts, Freddie, Theo, Princess, and Michi, belong to the trader. The company's spokespeople said they found no evidence of market manipulation during the investigation noting the trader intentionally spread his bets across smaller positions to avoid moving the market erratically. Polymarket also contacted the individual who claimed the positions were based on personal sentiment regarding the outcome of the 2024 presidential election. Polymarket maintains the election odds on the platform are consistent with the odds on competing platforms. And as I stress before I start reading the story, uh, as of today, uh, October 25th, Trump is now leading up 65% 
on the poly market election forecast. Let me know who you feel will likely win on this uh, election in a couple of weeks. Now in October, poly market betting odds for the presidential election began to skew heavily towards former President Trump, uh, sparking fears of market manipulation and prompting poly market to conduct an investigation to identify potential U.S. users on the platform. However, Kalshi founder Tarek Mansour recently argued the poly market odds were organic and reflected the true market sentiment. Mansour presented similar data from Kalshi, which is an American-only platform that corroborated the poly market election odds showing Trump with a solid lead over Harris. Now, the former presidential odds on poly market rose sharply in early October, following months of tight betting spreads between the two candidates. And during the early weeks of August, Vice President Harris maintained a decisive lead over Trump of up to 10%. That initial lead began to fade late August and early September, putting the two candidates neck and neck for much of the race. Critics of poly market and similar services claim these platforms are not as accurate as the polls. I beg to differ. I think they're more accurate because money's on the line. That traders are making speculative bets without strong evidence. Supporters of these platforms argue prediction markets are good public and a more accurate barometer of election sentiment than polls due to the monetary incentives. I agree with that. And even, uh, what's his name? Elon Musk has come out and said something very similar. Uh, not exactly that, but he ultimately said he trusts the polls of poly market more because of the money bets, uh, the money lines. And there you go, yo. Next headline, uh, this is uh, Max uh, sharing a fact. Uh, and the fact, let's go directly from his tweet he shared here yesterday, got 100 and roughly 19,000 views, October 24th, time stamped. He wrote, I started buying Bitcoin in 2011 at $1. Wow. Let that sink in. <laughs> My ROI is, wow, 6,800,000%. So, uh yeah, all hail the high priest of Bitcoin, yo. And there was actually an article written about it. So let's actually dive into it. Shout out to Max Kaiser, the man, the myth, the legend himself. Kaiser, excuse me, also an advisor on all things to do with Bitcoin with President Bukele over in El Salvador, has reminded the Bitcoin community he has been purchasing digital gold since 2011, when Bitcoin was just a dollar. Basically, Max began buying Bitcoin right after its mysterious creator, Satoshi, disappeared from the public view. Now, here's a fact. You've never seen Satoshi or Max in the same room at the same time. So you decipher that how you choose. But by now, he proudly stated his ROI on Bitcoin he holds has soared 6,800,000%. Good Lord. And I guess this guy, Andrew, was kind of flexing on social media. I started following the price of Bitcoin five years ago when it was 42000 That's 61% growth. My investment in the S&P has returned 95% in the same period. So he's ultimately undermining Bitcoin, saying his results in the S&P have done better. So Max had to set the record straight and remind this fool that he's up 6,800,000% and that there is no second best. So yeah, following the basic rule of every hodler, Kaiser is never revealed his Bitcoin holdings, smart, which are likely to be massive. You can say that again. Since he has been stacking the biddy for over 13 years, he also maintains a hardcore Bitcoin maxi as the frequently slams the alts, including Ether and every single altcoin that is. Kaiser criticizes XRP, Cardano, Solana. They are mentioned in his tweets most frequently. And in a tweet published just today, he poured criticism on Cardano's native coin, ADA, and says it will continue trending to zero against Bitcoin, just like all the shit coins. Take that, Huskinson. And approximately a week ago, Kaiser published a tweet in which he shared his expectation that Bitcoin is likely to begin trading at the 220,000 level very soon. The influencer was led to believe so because Bitcoin's rival in the material world, gold, surged to a new all-time high for the first time. I believe it just tapped 2,700 an ounce. In the past four years, and re yep, 2,713 an ounce. Gold's previous historic price peak was reached in 2020 during what we call the pandemic. But anyways, family, I don't think there's many Bitcoiners that can flex on this 6,800,000% returns. And not like that percentage is going to stop growing. Every time Bitcoin continues to climb, his ROI is going to climb alongside it. So take that, 
evildoers. Let's discuss 100,000 target by February, and then we'll be discussing 125,000 incoming as soon as Trump wins this election in two weeks. Let's break her down. Bitcoin analyst, 100,000 Bitcoin price by February, completely within reason. In fact, I'd go on a limb and say it's in reason for the Q4. But anyways, Bitcoin is in its initial stages of a bull run and 100,000 Bitcoin price may come within the next 90 days. In his latest market analysis, network economist Timothy Peterson said that the ignition has already come for the new Bitcoin bull market. We'll start that ignition already. Uh, Bitcoin has spent nearly eight months consolidating after its all-time high of 73.8. We achieved mid-March. For Peterson, the real gains are yet to come and may even see the biddy hit six figures for the first time in the next three months. I think it's inevitable. What are your thoughts? Bitcoin's current run is not meaningfully different than the prior price pass. This puts a big dent in the diminishing marginal returns argument. I mean, you can see right here, numbers don't lie, yo. In a company in chart compared to Bitcoin price performance since its last macro low in late 2022 to the previous cycle with Peterson dismissing the idea that the Bitcoin investors see lower comparative returns each cycle, quoting him here. A move just above the trend puts Bitcoin at 100 Gs within 90 days, completely within reason. His prediction odds are not moved by politics, Peterson said, confirming they are equally likely regardless of the outcome of the U.S. presidential election for the next month. Now, Bitcoin continues to feel various sky-high price targets throughout 2025. Next year is broadly seen as the deadline for the next macro top. That's what history shows us. With six-figure estimates increasingly free Frequent, and you know if you watch my stream, because I pretty much share six-figure target every single day of the stream. However, others remain cautious for the short term, with traders, including Credible Crypto, seeing a large decline coming next. He published this chart, which saw a possible return to the 60,000 level, something Peterson describes as a boundary that is unlikely to be violated. Quoting the analyst here, a drop below 60 Gs is becoming less and less likely, describing Bitcoin as not overpriced. Look how closely Bitcoin has tracked the two-year cycle average these past few weeks. Amazing that it is following a path predetermined four years ago. So there, you freaking go now for our feature story of the day standard chartered bank primary shareholder blackrock sees bitcoin surge to 125,000 if republicans take u.s congress let's break it down as per the headline you can see here a second trump presidency would be good for the biddy a standard chartered bank analyst says and a harris win would just be okay for crypto i'm going to rephrase this a harris win would be detrimental to crypto, and to humanity, and to the United States of America. Could it be any more obvious? But I digress. Uh, Bitcoin could be worth 125000 by the end of the year if the Republican Party dominates the U.S. Congress after November 5th elections, according to Standard Chartered Bank analyst Geoff Kendrick. We ain't talking Kendrick Lamar here. They not like us. As speculation about U.S. elections and Bitcoin price approaches a frenzy, Kendrick, not Lamar, was bullish on the Republicans. That's right. I mean, here's the post-U.S. election playbook, for Christ's sake. It says things like, we use daily Bitcoin volume levels of popular strike levels to estimate the post-election price moves. We think the Bitcoin price is likely to be around 73000 election day, roughly around the all-time high on November 5th. Assuming a Trump victory option break-evens imply a further price rise of about 4% when presidential outcome is known and around 10% in total within a few days. If the Republicans sweep Congress, our year-end target level of 125 25,000 USD per biddy should come into view. If Harris wins, we see Bitcoin initially trading lower, but still ending 2024 at fresh highs at around 75 Gs. That's according to their report, yo. So Kendrick predicts <clears throat> Bitcoin to reach 73,000 election day, November 5th, the day of the elections. If President Trump is elected to a second term, Kendrick, not Lamar, says Bitcoin will rise 4% when the result is announced. Based And man, 4% is very modest. I, I think Bitcoin can jump 10, 20%. Why? Because like I said, five years ago on today, Bitcoin jumped 25% on the daily. I got the proof of work to back it up. So we know it's possible, but we all know it's bullish nonetheless. But anyways, uh, they also go on to share, uh, based on options information, an increase by another 10% within a few days. And again, that could happen in a single day. I just want to point out the obvious, uh, quoting them here. Our base case is Bitcoin rises around 73,000 election day, catching up to the betting market. 
poly market. Probabilities of a Trump win, this is slightly below 73.8 all-time high recorded in March. Now, Vice President Harris is elected president, Kendrick Not Lamar, says Bitcoin will trade lower for a while, but end the year at around 75 Gs. He notes that the real clear politics currently places the odds of a Trump win at 59%, and poly market gives Trump a 75%. Is it up to 75 now? Good Lord. But yeah, yo. And as shared here, Bitcoin hit 200,000 by the end of 2025. So standard chartered execs, regardless of the U.S. election outcome. And according to the bank executive, Geoff, not Lamar Kendrick, three factors are poised to drive the prices of the bitty to the new all-time highs in 2025, including the likely removal of SAB 121, the accounting rule, a marginal uptick in inflation, and positive inflows into the Bitcoin ETFs. Meanwhile, poly market odds were manipulated by recently identified, but not named whale that bet more than 20 million on a Trump win. Some big bucks going on Trump winning, yo. Crypto community perceives Trump to be more, it'd be difficult for someone like myself to bet knowing the 2020 election was rigged. You know what I mean? Like, just drop, he probably is worth hundreds of millions, I'm assuming. If you're to bet 20 million on something, you should probably be worth, if not a billion, minimal worth hundreds of millions. Let me know if you agree with that. The crypto community perceives Trump to be more favorable towards it than Harris, although Ripple's co-founder Chris Larson, I can't believe this, donated $11 million worth of XRP to the Harris campaign. Talk about an oxymoron. Why would the co-founder of Ripple donate to Harris when she's the one behind the unlawful regulation in the crypto industry targeting XRP and Ripple Labs. Things that make you go, hmm, is this just like an inside attack like Garling House is like in on it? Larson is in on it? Why would they be funding the administration behind the one employing Senator Warren, Gary Gensler, chairman of the SEC? Some things that just make you go, hmm. But nonetheless, Kendrick is not the only commenter who has shown confidence in Trump. An executive at crypto asset manager Bitwise predicted Bitcoin to hit 92,000 in the event of a Trump victory. Crypto exchange Rivet predicted Bitcoin to reach 80 Gs by the end of November. Would a Trump pump win? Less excitable observers, such as BlackRock CEO Larry Fink, have said Bitcoin will rise regardless of the election results. That's right. Donald Trump says Bitcoin will probably overtake gold, which means each Bitcoin will be worth over $750,000 per coin. Now we're talking 750 Gs. Send it. But nonetheless, let me know your thoughts, family. Welcome to the Q&A segment of the live stream. Let me know what you think will happen if Trump gets into office. Price predictions for this year, 2024 cycle PQ4. Can you see 750,000 happen long term? Holla, and I'll read your comments. Trap them. Smart move, says Boint. Trump 2020 foe, says DGen.